This here is my Blu-ray laser. It uses the, the diode from a PlayStation 3 reader assembly. It, they are the same wavelength that HD DVD players use. This is Blu-ray. HD DVD also uses the 405 nanometer laser diode, so if you have a scrap HD DVD player, you can use it, or you can simply go get the Xbox HD DVD player add-on. I've used that also. It makes the same exact laser pointer. This one, however, is from the PlayStation 3. I have lights off right now to help visualize, uh, help you visualize and see the laser beam. I also have some glow-in-the-dark Easter eggs. The laser quite a it lights them up quite effectively. You see, it goes quite bright. I have a second one here. Just charges them up very quickly. You can also just make dashes like that. You can see. See the lines across them. If I turn the lights on, you see my laser assembly is in a small Altoids chewing gum case, just like my DVD burner laser. If I open it up, one 9 volt battery here, a small voltage regulating circuit here, the laser diode is right there. If I turn it on right there, you can see it. Small culminating assembly. It's got Two foam pads you really can't see on either side of the Nivel battery. That just helps keep it from rattling around and, you know, f falling out if I hold it upside down or falling up into the top, sliding down, crushing the circuit, or just preventing it from making any rattling noises. Out uh, here we have the button. I simply push that to turn on the laser. Real simple circuit. Makes a very fantastic laser. Very easy to make. Thanks.